Hey guys, we have dull latitude 5420, so it's 14 inches according to dull specification. Uh, so, and again, the purpose of this video just again see what we can get from this laptop. Again, it's a full HD uh, resolution, uh, non touch in this case configuration. It has uh, uh, it has uh, i7 uh, 1185G7, so it's basically 8 core. Uh, uh, we can check here, so it has like 8 core uh, base speed 18, but I guess it can go up to 3 or even above that one. I'm pretty sure. So, uh, because it has only two slots, uh, I was able to upgrade uh, to, to 64 gigabyte. It's technically 11 uh, 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 generation might support like 128, but again, because of limitation of laptop. And again, we're talking that it's not like precision. It's still latitude. It has only two slots out there. So it's basically physically limit us to 64, basically adding 34, uh, 32 uh, plus 32 uh, memory sticks uh, to make it uh, running. Uh, so it's running Windows 11 Pro in this case. Uh, the also uh, idea out there to maximize your, uh, I added uh, in this case external GPU. So what does it mean? Uh, it comes with normal iris. Uh, it's better version, kind of rated version of oh, still internal uh, and uh, integrated graphics card from Intel. So, but leveraging, uh, again, having more, let's say, graphic extensive and just normally like any like video calls, video playbacks, if you're into gaming too. So you definitely need dedicated graphics card. So again, you must probably in this case need to drop like latitude as a whole and move to another uh, uh, gaming or uh, workstations setup, which is uh, usually another pricing category and such. So I uh, stick to what I got here. So again, upgrading the CPU, again, decent i7 at least, mobile, but still uh, good uh, enough. Memory 64. Uh, uh, another options was definitely upgrade the, uh, the graphics card. And luckily, nowadays we can do this leveraging, uh, uh, and uh, this model has has two Thunderbolt, which is very crucial, I would say. One, in my case, go to dock station, we don't need to talk about this, so it's, um, but the idea to leveraging a dock station over here, so in this case, again, I had a chance to nicely set up and save my uh, space on my desk, put it down, so it's uh, another uh, if you will be interesting, let me know. Uh, we can discuss this. But this one is basically a uh, usual uh, riser uh, over the uh, core. I've added uh, over there, as you can see. Uh, I added it's a Radeon, so it's nowadays cheaper, but still capable for and has 8 gigabytes uh, graphics card. But you can add any Intel, uh, uh, but, uh, to also AMD or NVIDIA graphics card. So it's full size desktop graphics card. Uh, and again, the all beauty, one more time, will be due to uh, Thunderbolt uh, cables over there. So pretty much it. So at this perspective, oh, uh, uh, to and talking also disk, it has, this particular has only one, um, uh, a slot uh, for expansion so in my case it was kind of struggle so uh, when I originally got this laptop I believe it was 256 uh, gigabyte nowadays it's like nothing for almost running Windows so it, uh, for, for me uh, I wanted to upgrade and again upgrade coming also so means I need to swap it and again I also didn't want to reinstall all my programs etc nowadays we can mirror it so I was able just mirror it and uh, put normal 2 terabyte uh, SSD. At this perspective, I would consider it, it mean fully maximum uh, setup that I want to invest into this hardware. Again, knowing that we have maximum memory 64, 2 terabyte. Again, on the road, when the prices will be cheaper and I have more content, I might most probably could upgrade to 4 or an 8 terabytes. Mm, uh, but 
currently just not reasonable from kind of ratio uh, on pricing but definitely options will lead with another mirroring again decent okayish uh, cpu with four core uh, and eight uh, threads uh, out there and yeah and uh, but other than that, we pretty much maxed out everything we could here. So as you can see, uh, we'll just go th through details if it will be interesting. Again, it's I'm just recording from monitor. So you, we have motherboard uh, with also, as you can see, two slots. So, uh, in this case, I just got the cheapest G skill, which is work very well. So again, with the laptop, it's not like and also uh, iris uh, from intel as you can see uh, i do have also gpu from amd radeon so 25080 back at the time it was kind of decent gaming setup uh, so uh, yeah and you can do that basically pretty much on budget nowadays i guess you can score but near to 50 or even lower pro uh, prices uh, over there so so yeah this pretty much it so just again easy to upgrade uh, for that matter I will it wouldn't be part of this basically just unscrew it uh, and you will be able to, uh, add, uh, swap it uh, graph uh, uh, sorry uh, memory sticks added or upgraded again or remove and put new upgraded uh, SSD Ryzen M2 uh, EMV so uh, that is generation 3 which is again still fast enough that's for major uh, task out there but yeah this is kind of again end of uh, uh, this so it looks like there is no meaningful at least but let me know if i'm missing something meaningful upgrades to this setup as you can see just in general i'm using this as a desktop i recorded uh, another video about this so if you will be interesting you can look up to, to see what's going on there but again back to upgrade uh, i guess i got it the almost maximum that i could from this laptop so uh, I'm pretty yeah, happy about this, so, so definitely upgrade along the way, could be upgrade graphics cards as we go, put maybe 3000 or 4 even nowadays, coming 5000 uh, series from NVIDIA or back to AMD and run a machine learning set up if you need to yeah, have more 4k monitor so whatever you're doing out there and we have uh, better gaming. So this perspective, yeah that will conclude it so again it was uh, this particular guy was the latitude 50 uh, for, uh, 5420 again there is naming out there from dell kind of business ish uh, laptop but again capable especially when you're willing to invest for more storage and more memory you can have a quite a beast out there and definitely be far for with external graphics card and dock station for basically more a uh, universal use and peripherals with less cables uh, out there so yeah thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions and see you next one thank you bye bye